top of the hour on this Tuesday morning. I'm Sarah Colvin and joining me live on the phone, I welcome our Director of Public Works, Dan Santos. Dan, good morning. Good morning. How are you today? Good. There's snow in the air. Yes, I guess it's a, we got the report that it's the snow is falling yet again. Um, just want to say, you know, you, you and the crew working so hard, uh, continuously, really not getting a break. Um, tell me a little bit about this most recent uh, storm and, and how the efforts went over the weekend. Well, it was uh, predicted to be another blizzard. I'm not sure if officially it was a blizzard um, by the criteria they use. And I don't, I'm not going to go into that. <laughs> but the fact is, it was uh, the worst of it was Sunday morning, probably from 6 a.m. till noon. We were in what I would call a blizzard or, you know, a very heavy, uh, serious snowstorm with heavy falling snow and blowing wind, making conditions you know, almost as bad as the blizzard we had um, in January, where visibility was down to zero uh, during certain times. And so it was very hard to get around and even do the plowing. But uh, we didn't have the trucks that have the bogging down issues or the stuck cars, you know, a few, a few of those things here and there. But it was more typical for us of a snowstorm where we uh, you know, we have the, the, the primary treatment of the roads, and then we have our main plows and contractors, and then we go to the secondaries, you call them in, you got through those on Sunday, and then uh, back again on Monday to do a second, um, a second swipe on all the secondaries and pushing them back to where they, the, the width of the roads were pre-storm and clean, you know, cleaning up the corners and that. And we got through that yesterday afternoon, the holiday. And then uh, today, uh, back in pre-treating the roads uh, earlier this morning uh, with the sand and salt mix we've been using, the mains, and then uh, standing by for any plowing that may be necessary. Absolutely, and I think, you know, it's, it's helpful when the storm happens uh, over a holiday weekend, you know, a lot less people on the roads. You don't have to worry about closing the schools or school buses out there. So do you think that made it a little easier for the crews and especially the timing of the storm, too, uh, and the shorter duration uh, for, for cleanup efforts? Yes, those things are all factors that made it a little easier to deal with. The schools is a big factor. There's a lot of people around with schools. There's the pressure of getting their lots cleaned and the secondaries passable so you know kids can be safe and the buses can get by so that definitely um, helped um, and we're just you know keep keeping at it you know I, I you thanked us and I appreciate that but I also we you know, want to thank the uh, all the members of the department the men and women here that are very dedicated to these efforts I mean People are coming in, and they're still spirits are high, and you know they're not calling in sick and complaining. It's just awesome. Their their attitudes are good, and and I'm talking everyone from the the women who answer the phones in my office to the pile drivers. Obviously, they're the face of this, but mechanics. We have a crew of mechanics that have been going just as long, maybe longer in some cases, than the mechanic than the plow drivers that keep keep the equipment. Um, in good repair and functional, you know, plows break, hydraulic hoses go, and all kinds of things happen. And it's like a emergency room over there. Absolutely. The trucks come in, they swap out a truck, they fix that one, it goes back out. Pretty amazing. Well, a lot of stress on those vehicles, you know, uh, out on the road. They're working hard. It's not just driving from point A to point B. It's really putting a lot of stress on, on the, the body of the vehicle as well as all of the infrastructure, the frame, the, the motor, et cetera. So, so good to know that those guys are, are really working hard to make sure everything is, is working smoothly. Dan, I wanted to talk a little bit about salt. I know uh, last week we were concerned about the salt levels and looking for some more. Are we still anticipating a delivery? Uh, how are we in terms of that, that treatment material? Oh, we've resorted to driving up twice a day to pick up a load ourselves and we're getting maybe one a day from the from the distributor um, I've got enough salt on order that would take about 150 trucks to give us all the salt we've asked for so you know two or three a day is going to be quite a while before we get built up and we're basically using given that the weather keeps providing us with these temperatures and snow, you know, we're using what we're bringing down. But, but I think the mains look pretty good. I'm pleased we're mixing the salt with the sand. It's not 
it's not the ideal situation, but I think it's been effective and, you know, it's providing for safe roadways. It just means we can't, uh, and we never have in the past, but if we wanted to address some of this hard path and secondary roads, if we had a lot of salt, that would be one way to do it, but we don't have that. So. Indeed, but it's, you know, winter time, and, and that's that's what's going on. So, Dan, again, I thank you so much, as always, for, for all of the work, and we thank the crew and, and everybody uh, who has really been working tirelessly since the snow started to fall, and uh, we'll hope it's over soon, right? Well, you know, in January, we were actually thinking, well, maybe it's not going to snow this year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was very wrong. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All Have right. a good week. Thank you, Dan. You too. Bye-bye. Yeah, Dan Santos, of course, is our director of public works, and I do. I think I joked to Dan a couple of times that, oh, yeah, we're not going to get any snow this, this winter, so it's, it's my fault. Sorry, sorry guys. <laughs> now I'm going to say that again. <laughs> That's just how it goes.